here now to discuss the charity's mission, its founder of Back the Badge USA, Darren Parent, joining us for the first time. Darren, welcome to Real America. And let me first and foremost say thank you for creating a charity like this. Uh, give us some backstory. I know you and I talked offline. You started a few years ago. COVID almost shut you down, but you're trying to make a comeback and get these, I call them go bags. I'm a, I'm a vet. You're trying to get these go bags to our first responders. Tell us about that. Yeah, in uh, July of 2019, we did our first donation in Somerton, and about six months later, COVID hit. But uh, we found out roughly about 50% of the vehicles for law enforcement in the U.S. roughly do not have any kind of medical equipment in them. And the vehicles that do go all the way from minimal to a full paramedic bag like Simi Valley, they have AED defibrillators, all that. But there's a lot of vehicles that don't have anything or minimal equipment. And they need the equipment because they run into people who are injured sure. quite a lot. And is this small, medium, and large departments around the country? Well, the departments we tend to focus on um, are smaller communities, like our first donation, Somerton, Arizona, okay. 20 miles from the nearest hospital, which is Yuma, 15 miles from the U.S.-Mexico border. After we did that donation on the screen there, there were three drive-by shooting incidents within a month. Mm. And these bags treated the only person who was injured, luckily, in all three of those. So we focus on the smaller communities and the further they're out from uh, any sort of ER, whatever, those are the ones we really look at. But there's a great need. Of course. Over Good for you. What's in this bag and what's the value? I think you told me like three, 400 bucks worth of stuff in there. Kind of just briefly tell us what's in there for the cops and paramedics and firefighters to use on the scene. Well, being former military, you've probably heard of the uh, CAT tourniquet, combat application tourniquet. There's four of those in this big bag right here. This bag is called a Molly, and law enforcement will know what this is. EMTs will know what this is. This Molly is contained within this bigger bag overall here. Mm -hmm. And this hand off to somebody, like you say, go. Yeah. And where are you um, getting the stuff from? Did you are there suppliers that are working with you and giving you a good deal because they understand the mission you're on here to give these out totally free? No, we don't do that. We pay pretty much close to cost for the uh, oh, equipment. Okay. We're dealing with third parties, but now we're dealing directly with the distrib the um maker themselves. Okay. Lightning, that's the company we deal with. That's, this is our first time we're dealing with them directly for our uh, event coming up in Wilson County in April, Wilson County, Texas. So you need the cash, obviously, to buy the gear to put them together. And that's why I wanted to have you on, because you're doing another giveaway soon down in Texas, as you just said, and you need the cash to create these bags. Each bag costs about 400 bucks. Is that correct? Did I get that number right? Yes, about 400. Yeah. Okay. How many bags are you trying to give away in the next one? Well, we're trying to give away uh, the entire county, Wilson County, Texas, uh, all their vehicles. None of them have any sort of equipment. 97 is the number for that. 97 okay. total areas, all departments. And in then Wilson you want to continue this nationally, yeah. right? Just keep giving away to departments that need this stuff. Everybody's emailing us when they found out about the Summerton donation and the work we did in across Wisconsin for 11 it. different departments. They started emailing us, can you come here? I mean, here and there. I mean, the town yeah. where Elvis born in Mississippi that people are asking us there, South Carolina, everywhere. It's like, well, hang on. <laughs> yeah. Darren Parent, they're just getting back on their feet and they need your help, folks. It's called Back the Badge USA. You can go to their website, make a donation so they can create more of these go bag emergency kits for first responders and law enforcement for small departments around this country. So they've got the tools they need to help people in need. Darren, thank you so much for starting this charity and thinking of our first responders and coming on tonight to talk about it. God bless you. Take care. Thank you. Yep. Bye.